Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are going to talk about the strongest folding knives you can buy. The, the toughest, strongest, most hard use folding pocket knives you can buy. And first, we're going to start off with some other strong, very strong locking systems that are not quite the strongest. And then we'll get to the strongest and we'll move through them very quickly. So starting this off, I am going to put up a chart here in a moment showing what some tests have shown these locks to be capable of holding. Now, first we have the Spyderco compression lock, which is a basically a liner that falls into the groove of the tang of the blade with the stop pin right here going right in between them. So the liner wedges itself between the stop pin and the tang of the blade, making this an incredibly strong locking system, the compression lock. This is the Spyderco Shaman. Now, the compression lock is also a very easy locking system to use. So it makes it um, makes the ease of use and capability very good for a pocket knife. Next, we have the ball lock, which is a ball that's on top of a spring that gets pushed into the tang of the blade. And this is also another really, really strong locking system. Basically, when this one fails, it breaks this screw and goes out the back. Now, in order to make it a little bit stronger, I've put titanium scales and a titanium cage on mine, but they originally come with G10. Now, this system, again, very easy to use, very easy to manipulate, and also very reliable and very strong. And because the spring is constantly pushing tension of that ball up into the tang of the blade, this is a knife that you can reliably open and close over and over and over and over, and it only gets stronger and stays very, stays locked up very solid. Now, the back lock, another one that's very strong. Now, this one actually... The failing point is the blade on this, this specific knife. This is the Delica. Now, there's lots of different back locks, but on this particular knife, it actually fails at the blade, not the locking system. So it just goes to show how strong a back lock actually can be. And this is basically a bar that acts as a spring. And you can see I can push it down there, how it lifts up. And there's a little notch here that falls into a groove behind the blade. Now, that tension is always pushing down into that groove, making it stronger and stronger, you know, even over time. Now, I'm going to put up the chart showing what, what Blade HQ's tests have shown these locking systems to be able to withstand. Next, <clears throat> really quick, I do want to talk about liner locks and frame locks because... They are also very strong locking systems. However, it depends on the geometry of the lock face and what the company provides. Some of them actually slip out and fail very easily. And then others lock up incredibly strong and are very strong. Um, some of them fail in different points. It, it just does depend on the company, the geometry, and a lot of factors. But they're definitely not as strong as the locks coming up. Now, this is an example of a knife somewhat cheating <laughs> because yes, it has a liner lock, but it also comes with a pin that you can, you know, you can hold on the lanyard or just have period. And you can put it right in that hole, almost making this a fixed blade. You'd have to break that pin and the liner lock in order to fail it. Now, yes, that's incredibly strong. I have not seen it tested, so I can't speak to how strong it actually is, but it's very strong, especially with a nice big stop pin to hold it in the locking position. But that's eh, somewhat cheating. Next, we have the access lock. The access lock, also the crossbar lock, is being used on a lot of different knives now, but was originally from Benchmade. And it basically takes Omega springs that hold the bar on both sides, and it pulls it up behind the tang of the blade. And having nice, big, robust stop pin, plus this bar being pushed up behind the blade, you know, with constant force, makes this a very strong locking system as well. Here we have the Benchmade Griptilian. 
This is the Sig Sar K320 done by Hogue. Another one, very strong locking system, basically the same exact system. And then we have the TRM Shadow. Now, this is another one that's very easy to manipulate. Getting to the strongest locking system that we have. First, we're going to go through the Shark Lock, which is as strong. Well, this is what Andrew Demko says. He says it's as strong as the Triad Lock. The Triad Lock is known and tested to be the strongest locking system we have the strongest pocket knives right here on the table so first we have the demco 8020 now this one's a little bit easier to manipulate and does make it a little bit more fidgety while also being as strong as a triad lock now a lot of these things are going to be very strong because we have a very thick blade stock so the blade is able to hold a significant amount of weight plus the lock is incredibly strong this has a spring on the inside pushing it up behind the tang of the blade and then you have the blade also hitting the stop pin you have a nice big flat area right there and you can see actually where it hits right there so it pushes itself in behind the blade and it's constantly pushing pressure making this incredibly reliable and very very strong now the triad lock similar to the back lock but there's a one huge difference this one the triad lock uses a stop pin which actually makes the 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 back lock even stronger and you have a groove right there cut out in the blade and then this same as before it has you know basically a spring and a notch here that falls into that groove wedging the stop pin in between now that is constantly putting force downward into that groove actually only making it stronger over time and even in use when you're using it it's only locking itself up even stronger the way the lock is designed and these locks can hold upwards of 800 pounds so making it the strongest locking system now not only is it just incredibly strong but the way it does it and how it only keeps on getting stronger and stronger as you use it and as you put pressure on it the way it's set up for the stop or the <clears throat> excuse me the lock to just continuously push its way down into that groove just making it stronger and stronger and stronger and like I was saying before, the blade stock thickness and robustness is also going to have a huge factor. But this is the Cold Steel 4Max, an absolute beast of a knife. Not very practical for the everyday use, but if you're looking for a hard use hitting knife, this is amazing. Next we have the Cold Steel 8010, which is another one. Just a beast of a knife. Very thick, very robust, a little bit more practical than the Formax, as you can see. But super comfortable in the hand, and these are built for actual hard use. A lot of knives claim to be hard use, but these are real hard use knives that, um, in order to break, takes an unhuman amount of strength or um, pressure because even with your body weight you're not going to break this so in order to break this you have to intentionally be doing something that that you wouldn't do even on most fixed blades now i'm not trying to say that this is a fixed blade um, for real absolute strength yes absolutely a fixed blade is the way to go but if you're really tough on your folding knives and you want something that is tried tested and guaranteed to be incredibly incredibly strong this is the way to go or the shark lock these can be a lot harder to get and a lot more expensive now there is the 8020.5 which is a smaller lighter weight version of this the, De the demco 8020.5 but it is a bit smaller mine has a reblade so it is uh it's not going to be as strong as it was from the factory because it, you know, thinner geometry and everything else. But it's still incredibly strong, incredibly reliable. You can get a lot of aftermarket parts with this and, you know, beef, beef it up, so to speak. Or actually just make it your own, not beef it up. But anyways, 
One other little locking system we're gonna talk about, even though it's technically not the strongest, is the Scorpion lock. Now this is also a very strong locking system. It's just not very impact resistant. So while it's incredibly strong in your hand while you're applying pressure to the back spring, in the, the sense that you are hitting the spine of the blade, it can have the ability to fail. I'm not sure how much that would take or anything else. I've never failed it, but you know, from Demko's mouth, he says it's not the most impact resistant, but it's still an incredibly strong locking system, but definitely not as strong as the triad lock. So there you guys go. Just a quick look at these guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.